Today's video dives into the NPC AI patent, focusing on virtual navigation in Grand Theft Auto 6. This patent sheds light on the intricacies of in-game traffic, promising a heightened level of realism compared to previous iterations. We'll explore the notable enhancements Rockstar has implemented, creating a more sophisticated system that elevates the gaming experience. By examining various sources, we aim to provide a comprehensive overview of this navigation system, offering insights into what Rockstar has in store for NPC navigation in GTA 6. Let's delve into the details of this intriguing patent. System and method for virtual navigation in a gaming environment. Let's break down this patent for a moment. Essentially, it gives us insight into how non-playable characters operate within the game environment. They explain that NPCs' actions are controlled through artificial intelligence, allowing for real-time decision-making based on preset algorithms. In many systems, this is achieved through nodes and links, where each node contains important data that influences NPC movement. For example, in a game involving vehicles, this data could include factors like vehicle speed, lane width, road type, and number of lanes. Now, these nodes are essentially waypoints that NPCs follow to navigate from one point to another. In simpler sections of the road, these nodes might be connected linearly, guiding NPCs straightforwardly. But in more complex areas, like junctions, the nodes become more intricate. Take a basic intersection, for instance. A vehicle approaching it would have several exit options, leading to a branching network of nodes. In older systems, like the one used in GTA 5, NPCs might make decisions at these junctions based on simple rules, sometimes leading to behaviors that seem a bit random. However, this conventional method has its limitations, especially when it comes to handling various factors like weather conditions, changing lanes, parking cars, or anticipating road exits. In these situations, the old system could falter, as NPCs might not adapt well to the dynamic environment. One downside of the node-based system is its limited capacity to replicate real-life factors that humans naturally consider. Another drawback is its constraint in automating NPCs effectively. Due to memory and processing limitations, only a set number of NPC-controlled cars can be spawned in the game. Naturally, players crave a more immersive experience with a greater number of NPC-controlled cars on the road. Moreover, in conventional systems, NPCs often repeat the same actions, and some may even disappear as players get closer to them. Additionally, in GTA 5, the system relies on local traffic avoidance for NPCs to steer clear of collisions. This means that NPCs continuously scan their immediate surroundings each frame for any obstacles like vehicles, pedestrians, or objects. Using a front-facing polygon, they gather data about the road layout and calculate the optimal steering angle to dodge obstacles or stay on the road. It's worth noting that this process occurs independently for each frame, without any reference to previous frames. This results in slower detection, as the system may not recognize a road blockage promptly. Instead, it interprets the obstruction as something to be avoided, without distinguishing it as a complete road blockage. Recognizing these limitations, Rockstar has engineered an NPC system that addresses these shortcomings of conventional systems. This advanced system efficiently manages NPC nodes and node graphs, yielding optimal outcomes while circumventing hardware and software constraints. NPCs in this system demonstrate heightened spatial awareness and adaptability, capable of altering routes based on real-time data from the environment. Moreover, this innovative system synergizes with the tagging mechanism discussed in earlier discussions. Through node analysis, the system identifies tags, such as indicating a road leads to a junction unsuitable for large vehicles. Consequently, large vehicles are deterred from entering. Furthermore, NPCs within this system consider various attributes of vehicle types, models, including speed restrictions, acceleration and braking capabilities, top speeds, cornering abilities, and vehicle size. NPCs will consider a plethora of data from their surroundings, leading to heightened situational awareness. Video games are populated by NPCs who are able to make real-time decisions based on their environment. Games use a specific system for NPCs to traverse the game world. However, this system is very limited, and thus the decisions NPCs can make are very limited as well. NPCs in vehicles only consider their close vicinity, but nothing else. Also, to avoid collisions, NPCs only consider the last generated frame and base their reaction on that. No prior frames are considered. Rockstar has invented a new system which aims to fix these issues and make NPCs more intelligent and thus make the game world feel more realistic. NPCs can now consider factors like traffic, 
as well as account for changing lanes when parking cars, anticipating a road exit, weather conditions, and the like. There are more than a predetermined number of NPC-controlled cars in the game now for a realistic experience for the player. Vehicles can now plan accordingly in case there is any type of road blockage. This also applies to police cars being able to navigate their way through traffic during a chase. I'd like to highlight another breakdown of the patent, which dates back three years ago. Let's delve into it. Take away from yesterday's patent post. I've read over the patent post from yesterday, and I noticed a lot of people missed the most exciting information in it. I'll sum it up in non-technical language. It's essentially a method to improve vehicle AL when driving currently. When NPCs drive on the road, they can sense a few cars around them to determine crashes or other things to drive around. This is dumb AL, as it has very few factors to take into account, and requires a lot of computational resources. This is why vehicles despawn when far away to free up the CPU. Rockstar's patent describes a system that primarily will change this and give NPCs more situational awareness. They will essentially have an objective of navigating from one location to another, simplified, but is essential in making routines similar to RDR2, and be able to take into account other external factors. Coolest of all, NPCs will still exist when your game isn't rendering them in this implementation. Specific examples mentioned by Rockstar state they will be able to use weather conditions, traffic, and crashes to determine where to go. Some areas might be dangerous in the rain, they might avoid it. If an area has too much traffic, they will avoid it. Possibly destructible environmental areas could be reacted to. Similar to bridges in Just Cause, this point is speculation, however. Cars will also be able to take into account number of lanes and speed in their decisions. NPCs will be also able to take into account high-speed chases and be able to navigate if they themselves are speeding. There will also be other reactions that are mentioned specifically, such as changing lanes before a highway exit appears, and as Rockstar puts it, driving slower on residential type roads, or having to perform certain maneuvers to avoid oncoming traffic on single lane streets. The large part they also mention is this implementation uses a lot less processing power. The NPC schedules can be relayed by a central server, they could possibly use the console itself as well, and it doesn't require the same constant surrounding analysis. As previous Al Rockstar mentions, this will allow them to have denser traffic with the same resources. A large aim also seems to be realism, Rockstar's patent mentions realistic reactions to various factors as being the main intent. For example, NPCs will each have different driving ability levels, based on the driver and the car. Essentially, each driver will have its own profile, and have unique driving characteristics as well as skill level. Some might speed, others might not. Great news for GTA fans, GTA 6 is making some big changes to the series. We've got a load of interesting info about the game that you should definitely hear about. Just a heads up, the details we've got are from leaked online footage, but sorry, no links or showing it. Still, loads of cool stuff to share, like new animals, AI changes, RPG elements, and more. Let's dive in. Fact 1 interactions with NPCs are getting way cooler. You'll have choices like threatening, robbing, shooting, or restraining them. Some missions will even have gesture-based actions, like Red Dead Redemption 2. Car damage is more realistic, and the insides are crazy detailed, with working dashboards. Fact 2. Let's talk weapons. GTA 6 is changing things up, taking a page from Red Dead Redemption 2. Instead of a big weapon wheel, you'll have slots for small firearms, melee weapons, rifles, and shotguns. No unlimited weapons, but you can drop and pick them up as you go. Fact 3. In the developmental phase, there was a sighting of Arthur Morgan's hat, though it's uncertain if this will make it to the final game. Players now have the option to surrender to the police during a robbery, which adds a thrilling twist. Police response time has been updated to feel more real, displaying a timer that varies based on the crime's severity. A murder, for instance, prompts a faster response than a robbery. The maximum wanted level is capped at 5 stars in GTA 6, and the possibility of a 6-star level seems improbable in the current gameplay being developed. By the way, I'm holding a monthly giveaway for a PlayStation 5. You just need to subscribe and you're entered. Now, back to the video. Fact 4. Police AI has significantly improved from the last game. Instead of rushing in blindly, they now exhibit more realistic and intelligent behavior. If you commit a crime and flee in a vehicle, cops will note the specific vehicle and license plate, making evading them more challenging. Fact 5. Let's talk about the strong emphasis on indoor locations in GTA 6. There's a bunch of different interiors to explore, like nightclubs, motels, hotels, restaurants, pawn shops, supermarkets, fast food joints, gun stores, shooting ranges, and the City metro station. Plus, they've added working elevators for a more immersive feel. Interestingly, there's a risk of players getting banned from stores, which adds a twist. 
Fact 6. Moving on to the characters. GTA 6 introduces two protagonists, Jason, played by Brian Zampella, and Lucia, portrayed by Alexandra C. Ekavari, who happens to be the franchise's first playable female character. You can switch between them instantly. They're also a couple, drawing inspiration from Bonnie and Clyde. Fact 7 clothing in the game behaves realistically. You can wear accessories like sunglasses, watches, wristbands, and hats in different ways. The detail is pretty cool, with sweat, dirt, and wrinkles adding to the realism. Fact 8. GTA 6, internally dubbed Project Americas, had a code name during development, like GTA 5, called Rush, and Red Dead Redemption 2, Bonnière. Originally, the plan was for a bigger map covering North and South America, but changes in Rockstar's approach scaled it down. Still, it's shaping up to be a memorable experience with its features and locations. Fact 9. GTA 6's map is officially bigger than GTA 5. This time, Vice City takes the spotlight, a Miami-inspired area with its surroundings, giving players a vast and diverse landscape. There's even a lake in one of the videos that hints at a significant part of Florida being in the game. Fact 10. Hold on to your seats. The jetpack's back. Shooting out of cars is on the cards too, adding more thrill. And get this, GTA 6 introduces 18 brand new vehicles to the franchise. Fact 11. In GTA 6, you'll bump into various events like random mugger encounters and NPC-hosted yard sales. There are hints at riding events, which could mean horse riding, maybe even involving the Red Dead Redemption 2 team. Fact 12. New firepower alert. The spear gun's making its first appearance, letting players shoot underwater spears at their targets. Plus, there's a bunch of gear you can use, like binoculars, cut-off tools, flashlights, immobilizer bypasses, slim gyms, USB drives, tasers, zip ties, and auto dialers. Fact 13. The game has RPG stuff like weight and muscle management, seen in the Spool Couple Workout Challenge. Leaked footage showed Jason and Lucia's apartments. For example, Jason's place has a bathtub for in-game baths. Fact 14. Rockstar's planning to add new missions and cities regularly after GTA 6 launches. Whether this is for online or story mode isn't clarified yet. Expect an improved cover system, better than what we've seen in other Rockstar games. Fact 15. Make sure not to overlook the Kingston Hotel. It's a lively spot with pool parties and live music, making GTA 6 world even more vibrant. Fact 16. GTA 6 gets more interactive with working CCTV cameras that you can wreck. Be wary of cop traps, spots where cops wait to nab you, and be prepared for intense moments with dirty cop shakedown events. Fact 17. As part of the immersive feel, the game includes DUI sobriety tests, but it's unclear if they're for the player character or random NPCs. Rockstar's focus on detail shines, even with fully working gumball machines in the game. Fact 18. The gunplay in GTA 6 resembles what we've seen in Red Dead Redemption 2 and Max Payne 3. It might be worth giving those games a shot before GTA 6 comes out, if you haven't already. And activities? GTA 6 is loaded with options, from fishing and crazy golf to basketball, football and soccer. There are gyms to work out in, a yacht club, and even a racetrack. Fact 19. Get ready for a modern-day setting, post-GTA 5 events. The game is meticulously detailed, recreating many Miami landmarks like a grand tennis court, a bustling football stadium, and a vibrant amphitheater. The map includes an airport and a functional tram system, with an airport stop. And that's not all. The Florida Keys and a swampy region, the Grass Rivers reminiscent of the Everglades, are part of the game. Players can ride swamp boats in this area. Fact 20 weapons are diverse in GTA 6. You've got melee options like golf clubs, pool cues, crowbars, and bats, along with a range of firearms from pistols to snipers and RPGs. You can even customize how your character holds weapons. Plus, there's a bunch of throwable stuff like grenades, molotovs, and even golf balls. Fact 21. One major upgrade in GTA 6 is NPC behavior. NPCs will come in different sizes and shapes, and their reactions will feel super real. If you wave a gun around, folks nearby might freak out. The game's also getting an intense injury system, including concussions. Fact 22. Next up, the amazing visuals and new features. Your character will grow facial hair naturally over time. Plus, the GTA 6 world will have a social platform called WhatsApp, kinda like a fun version of WhatsApp. And good news for fans, spoof versions of social media like Life Invader, Facebook, Bleeder, Twitter, and Snapmatic, Instagram, are making a comeback. Fact 23. Now let's talk about our main characters, Jason and Lucia, each with their own and a shared inventory. Your inventory can carry various items like wine, soda, and fruit. Also, there's a duffel bag system for easy transportation of supplies and weapons. Fact 24. Rockstar's being more cautious in storytelling, steering clear of offensive jokes, and being considerate about groups that might feel targeted. The story goes through chapters, like Red Dead Redemption 2's approach. Fact 25 GTA 6 is loaded with side activities, from backyard wrestling and racing to UFO events and beach bonfires. Small stuff matters too, like picking up cans from the ground. 
Jason and Lucia, the main characters, have special abilities similar to those in GTA V. Fact 26. Jason and Lucia's safe house is a motel, a hub for their activities. The game's world has various street gangs, each with its own vibe. Characters have different personalities like romantic, chaotic romantic, cool, pragmatic chaotic, and pragmatic cool. Fact 27 gameplay tweaks in GTA 6 include the ability to zip tie NPCs for stealth elements and the option to carry bodies, adding depth to stealth mechanics. Fact 28 robberies are a big deal in GTA 6, ranging from big heists to smaller scores. You've got easy scores like hitting bingo body shops, burnout skirts at Cafe Caraway, clothing stores, food trucks, massage parlors, and more. And now, there's even the chance to rob shipping containers, which adds a whole new level of excitement. Fact 29 gameplay is stepping up. For the first time in GTA, you can crouch and go prone, bringing in some tactical vibes. RPG elements are also in, with hints about hunger leveling and animal interactions, adding depth to the game. Fact 30. Excitingly, the Malibu Club and Ocean View Hotel are back in GTA 6. There are hints at events like Lost at Sea Island Camp and Lost Plane, suggesting possible island scenarios like Guarma from an earlier game. Fact 31. While exploring, you'll meet loads of wildlife, alligators, bears, boars, dogs, snakes, raccoons, birds, frogs, bald cats, and rodents. You'll also spot symbols for plants and toxic waste around the game. Fact 32. In the game, watch out for the Scarface crime scene. Maybe a nod to Tony Montana as an Easter egg. There's also a murder mystery called Missing Tourists. Plus, spots for campers are scattered around, hinting at the chance of owning a camper van later. Remember, these details are from development footage, so they might change before the final release. Still, they give us a great peek into what Rockstar's cooking up for GTA 6. When we talk about the positive aspects of this partnership, it's essential to highlight the potential benefits that can emerge from Rockstar's newfound support for the modding community. One of the significant upsides is the acknowledgement of the brilliant and skilled developers behind the modding scene. For years, these developers have worked tirelessly to create unique and engaging experiences within the GTA universe. With Rockstar stepping into a collaborative space with CFX, there's an opportunity for a more symbiotic relationship. The infusion of official support could mean more resources, tools, and encouragement for modders to continue pushing the boundaries of what's possible within the GTA ecosystem. This collaboration might lead to innovative gameplay features, improved server stability, and an overall better experience for both players and content creators. Moreover, the recognition from a gaming giant like Rockstar could open doors for these modders in the industry. It may pave the way for potential collaborations, official partnerships, or even job opportunities within the gaming development sphere. This, in turn, could elevate the modding community to a more prominent and respected position within the gaming landscape. However, it's crucial to approach these potential benefits with cautious optimism. While the partnership appears promising on the surface, the reality lies in how Rockstar manages the delicate balance between maintaining control over its intellectual property and allowing creative freedom for the modding community. The outcome will heavily depend on Rockstar's willingness to foster collaboration, rather than imposing strict regulations. As GTA 6 draws closer, the impact of this collaboration will become more apparent. Whether it becomes a model for future partnerships between game developers and modders, or encounters challenges that hinder its success remains to be seen. The dynamics between Rockstar and the modding community could shape the future landscape of custom servers, roleplay experiences, and the overall modding scene in the gaming world. Stay tuned as we continue to explore and analyze the evolving relationship between Rockstar and the modding community. On the positive side, there's a glimmer of hope that Rockstar's acknowledgement of mods enhancing the player experience could pave the way for more modding support in GTA 6. This shift in perspective might lead to a more collaborative environment where modders can contribute to the game's richness without fear of stringent restrictions. With Rockstar officially and financially supporting 5M, the CFX team gains more resources to elevate the GTA 6 server. This could mean a server even more impressive than the ones they currently run. The fact that 5M is now a Rockstar Games product suggests a vested interest in its success, promising additional funding and manpower to ensure its flourishing. An intriguing prospect emerges concerning the accessibility of custom servers. Currently limited to PC players, there's speculation that GTA 6 might integrate dedicated servers within the game itself, eliminating the need for external programs like 5M. If this unfolds, it opens the door for console players to join the custom server experience, broadening the player base and community. Moreover, Rockstar seems to be attuned to fan desires. 
Despite a larger audience watching RP compared to those actively playing it, Rockstar appears committed to making improvements. Their intent to let custom servers thrive suggests a more fan-centric approach, acknowledging and catering to the desires of the gaming community. However, there are potential pitfalls to consider. The most glaring concern is Rockstar's inclination to monetize these servers. While the specifics remain uncertain, it's almost certain that some form of monetization, be it through custom server shark cards or a pay-to-play system, will be implemented. This could introduce a paywall, affecting the accessibility and enjoyment of custom servers for certain players. As we navigate through this evolving landscape of Rockstar's partnership with 5M, the delicate balance between fostering creativity and implementing monetization strategies will determine the ultimate impact on the gaming community. Stay tuned as we continue to unravel the complexities of this collaboration and its implications for GTA 6 and the modding community. Let's unpack this a bit more. The whole monetization story got its moment in the spotlight during an earnings report where Take-Two CEO Strauss Zelnick spilled the beans. He essentially said, if folks are messing around with our intellectual property, why not make a buck or two? It's a straightforward business move, really. Taking a page from the unprecedented success of GTA Online, it seems like Rockstar caught a glimpse of how these free servers could turn into a money-making machine. Now the potential downside of this situation lies in the realm of competition. Rockstar's got its A-team working on the custom servers gig. That means anyone outside the Rockstar circle trying to whip up something akin to 5M is practically painting a target on themselves for a cease and desist. Let's face it, Rockstar might have eyed this strategic move with 5M from the get-go. However, with those servers gaining crazy popularity and the game becoming a sensation on Twitch and YouTube, shutting it down wouldn't have been the smart play. Instead, they pulled off a masterstroke, acquiring the team behind the biggest servers, effectively cornering the market and positioning themselves to profit from any potential imitators. Now, with GTA 6 on the horizon and servers in the works, Rockstar's sitting pretty. Some in the gaming community are even giving them a nod for finally throwing a bone to the community. But, and there's always a but, at the end of the day, Rockstar's the one making the rules. We'll all have to toe the line because, quite frankly, there won't be any other alternatives in the neighborhood. So, buckle up for Rockstar's GTA roleplay. It's going to be a wild ride. The landscape has already witnessed the repercussions, with servers and mods being handed the shutdown ticket for not playing by Rockstar's latest rulebook. The new mandates include a strict no to real-life vehicles, mission mods, and porting old Rockstar maps or assets rules that weren't in the playbook just a couple of years back. Now, while the financial backing from a mega corporation might seem like a savvy move on the surface, there's a lingering skepticism about whether it'll blossom into the fairy tale ending we've all been envisioning. It's a bit premature to slap a final verdict on the fate of 5M once GTA 6 hits the stage. Now, let's consider the potential repercussions for the vibrant RP community. While the partnership between Rockstar and 5M could bring about positive changes, there's an underlying worry within the RP enthusiasts. The fear is that with increased control and potential monetization, the organic and immersive RP experiences that players have come to love might face disruptions. RP communities thrive on creativity, flexibility, and a sense of autonomy. If Rockstar's influence leads to more rigid guidelines, it could alter the dynamic of these communities, potentially affecting the unique narratives and interactions that make RP servers so engaging. As we contemplate the potential impact, it's essential to look beyond the immediate horizon of GTA 6. The dynamics established through this collaboration could set a precedent for future interactions between gaming giants and modding communities across various games. Whether it becomes a model to be emulated or a cautionary tale will be closely watched by both players and industry stakeholders. The future of 5M and the broader modding community remains uncertain as GTA six inches closer to release. While concerns exist, there's also room for hope. The collaboration might lead to a harmonious blend of official support and community-driven creativity, enhancing the gaming experience for everyone involved. As players, content creators, and modders navigate this uncharted territory, the one constant is the love for the game and the shared hope for a positive evolution in the gaming landscape. Taking a stroll down memory lane, Rockstar's track record with monetization doesn't exactly calm the nerves. Add to that the current scenario where they're laying down the law for the CFX team, dictating what's permissible and what's not. This conjures up a cloud of uncertainty regarding the future of both 5M servers and the broader modding community. Personally, I'm a big fan of RP servers and that immersive content. It's my cup of tea. The idea that the same company that set the stage with GTA 5 might potentially tarnish 5M, turning it into a monetized maze with no alternatives, that's a bit of a buzzkill. 
Yet here we are in the waiting room until GTA 6 steps into the limelight.